Bodan mbele kabisa Watu wa Bodan mbele kabisa Tuko hapa na Deputy President William Ruto Weekly from Sali Amdamadi Kiongozi wa Ford Kenya
I'm not 
nimefurahia wageni. Asante nimefurahia wageni. Wacha tusie maombi. Tulie kwa maombi tafadhali. Tulie kwa maombi. Tulie kwa maombi tafadhali. Hawa na kiombe. Mwenye Mungu alisema hali basi tunakuamini katika mkutano huu uibariki. Upatie imani yako na nguvu zako. Uibariki taifa la Kenya. Uibariki Tanzania. Uibariki William Ruto. Uibariki Mzee Mbenadi. Uibariki Watanga. Na uibariki Kenya kwanza. Uunge serikali ya amani na kupewa pesa mfukoni kwa wananchi wa Kenya. Eh Mwenye Mungu, umepitisha mambo haya milioni, umeharamisha. Hakuna mwanachama anaweza kuyapinda. Eh Mungu tusaidie katika jina la Yesu Kristo na wema wako amen. Amen. Aya msema amen. Kwa heshima kubwa nataka nilipe mheshimiwa Malala. Kwa heshima kubwa nataka nilipe mheshimiwa Malala ambaye ndiye Yesu wetu hapa ataendesha programu ya leo. Programu ya leo leo. Asante sana sasa tuende kule Kapchai Mheshimiwa Kalasinga Majimbo Asante sana asante sana DJ Weka kameka mlembe Mlembe swa Mimi niko na swali moja peke yake Alafu niende nikae chini Kweli wacha tuseme ukweli mimi nikienda hapa malemba hapa nitafute rumu mbili za lodging alafu nilipe pesa alafu nichukue wasichana wawili wa rembo niweke kwa kitanda alafu niite watu wawili ninunue blanketi mbili pia nikuwe nayo niweke kitanda moja 
Huyu msee wa kitenda wili Na kitanda ingine niweke huyu William Ruto Nani atatingisa pulangeti? Mungu wa mane wapariki Taka mega fire Sasa tuende tuite meja waluke Aya arambe Tataka hii sauti zikike kule kule kisumu arambe Nataka nione wale wameshika netu waka ya msali ya wetangula na, ru, na ruto mwenyewe Nataka nione hapa 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 Bas Sisi kama chamii ya mulembe Tulikuwa tumengwachea miaka mingi Na tukatuma vichana wetu wa wili msali ya na wetangula Kuenda kutafuta network Na network hile walileta Walipata network ya William Ruto Wangapi wamekupaliana na hiyo nataka muonyeshe tena Kwa hivyo sisi kama jamii ya western Sasa tumeloku kakameka bungoma busia na vihika yote Mulembe nation tumeloku Hakuna mtu mungina ambaya na hongea kando kando na kusema ati ho Ati msari ya na wetangu la waliusa Ati wali waluza waluya Waluza waluya kwa njia gani Waluya wanauzwa Sisi hatu bangwingwi Muna bangwa Bas Sisi siku ya leo tunambia wale usema Ati wameuza Watafute njia yao Na wale wanafomu serekari serekari Ndiyo hii Chini ya William Ruto Chini ya Wetangula Chini ya Musalia Mudabati Asante ni sana na mshike netu waka nyumbani vitambulisho mtengenese Na mama ukienda nyumbani usiku leo Jionu kipikia mse chai ile mfupi Unamuambia mse Kikura Iko kwa wetangula Iko kwa msalia Na William Ruto Hasora Aya watu wa mkoa magaribi Tunataka tukisema weta munasema mdavadi Nikisema mdavadi munasema weta Weta Mdavadi Vijana faya Mweshimiwa goi Haya 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 haya
Sendo em evidência de Zuli, mil pegas de todos da vida, de meu pai e de mim, 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 de mim. Basi, kakameka muko Kakameka muko Mimi nimetoka tuanzoya na tuanzoya nataka ni wambia kwamba tumeamua kakameka mweamua umeamua na natakuwa present wa kwa Kenya na mwosa ni wambia mwio mkoma nito mkoma nani ruto 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 emu ni wana kamikono ay 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 Nataka nikimalisa ya kwamba tuko na mheshimiwa wetangula na mheshimiwa muda na mheshimiwa mdavati hawa ndio watatuambia tunaenda wapi na tayari wametuambia ni Ruto sasa sasa kakameka mzihangaike tuko pamoja sisi tuanzoya tumemaliza ni Ruto kwa sababu mheshimiwa mdavati mheshimiwa weta wametuambia ni nani ni Ruto Tendo kwa mikono Ruto sasawa Thank you so much Sasa tunataka tuende mlima Kenya Kijana shupavu Kijana straight Nini nyoro Kakamega oye Kakamega Kakamega e E ye 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 Mukona muna hii Ata kure kwe tumuranga Na Mount Kenya yote Kaunte zote kumi za Mount Kenya Tukianza muranga Kuenda nyeri Kuenda embu Kuenda kiabu Laikipia Meru Darakanithi Nyadarwa Laikipia Nakuru Nairobi Tumesema raisi wetu ni William Samoei na sisi tumesema hatupangui Na sisi tumesema serikali ya Kenya Mwezi wa August Wetasi yako hapa Mudavadis yako hapa Hasras yako hapa Viogozi wa Mount Kenya si wako hapa Wakule Pwani si wako hapa Serikali ya Kenya in August Iko katika kakamega siku ya leo Na mimi nataka kutuma ujube moja kwa raisi wetu kwa unyenye kevu Our president I respect you and we respect you We saw you had some youth in the state house yesterday in Nairobi Mr. President You have been the president for nine years And the youth of Kenya have been around But your government have neglected the youth of Kenya for nine years There is joblessness in Kenya Maneno ya help umewakatia Rais Kebaki alikuwa na help Anapea na help ya 60,000 Serikari yako imekata ikavika 35,000 Na kwa hivyo Mr. President In the 9 years of your regime Our youth have descended into misery They have descended into poverty and joblessness And it was despicable yesterday To see the state house of Kenya Bribing the Kenyan youth with the hard outs Ati waibe nyibo ya kutukana viogozi wengine Raisi wetu tafadhali Wa Kenya wamekataa maneno ya project Wamekataa hiyo project unawaretea ya tinga tinga Wa Kenya wanasema haina mafuta Na haina migu And we want to warn those people That wanapea raisi wetu mawaitha Please History ya Kenya ikiandikwa Wale watu abao muko karibu na raisi wetu Mutakubukwa vibaya sana Mutakubukwa kama wale watu Walipea the wrong advice to our president 
atianze kuangalia maneno ya succession na tunajua maneno ya Kenya hakuna outgoing president amefanya amewahi fanya succession yake kama amekalia kiti rais wetu tafadhali staafu pole pole na ustaafu kwa heshima kwa hivyo kwa sababu wa Kenya hawapangwi wa Kenya wanajua kujipanga Wata nione kura ya hasira kura ya hasira kura ya hasira Asante sana sasa tuende Kimilili Didmas Baraza Bas Kaka mega e Kaka mega ya Kaka mega e Mimi nataka kuambia watu fulani hapa Kenya kwamba the power of the people of Kakamega in deciding who will be president of Kenya is bigger than Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Ningependa kuambia wale wakora tena kwamba hapo nyuma rais Uhuru Kenyatta wakati alimtafuta mzee Mudi Aori kuwa mwenyekiti wa pesa ya ambaye anasimamia mambo ya michezo hapa alisema vijana ni wakora vijana hawaaminiki. Sasa kinaya ni kwamba the irony is wakati rais unaita vijana state house unawaambia ya kwamba utawapeleka so that they can have a good future na waonesha mzee wa miaka sabini na nane na wewe umefika wakati ya kwenda nyumbani wakati gani ambao umegundua kwamba vijana wa Kenya ni wa muhimu katika kuendesha shughuli ya serikali hapa Kenya vijana wewe vijana wewe ya mwisho hii timu yetu ya Kenya kwanza ndio iko na experience ya kukarabati uchumi wa Kenya wale wengine hawana experience ya kuunda uchumi ya Kenya wakati mimi nilioa msichana mrembo siku kwa nimejua huyu msichana ndio mkamata wapi ndio yafurai nilianza kutafuta kwa miguu wapi kila mahali napeleka mkono lakini nikagundua wakati moja Mkono ikiingia mahali anakaa anakufa kifafa namna hivi namna hivi namna hivi. Sasa leo siku hizi nimegundua nikifunga mlango napeleka mkono hapo. Wa Kenya don't gamble with your future. The future is with William Samoe Ruto. Your future is with Msalia and Moses Masika we tangula. Wacha nione watu wa Kenya kwanza Kenya kwanza Kenya kwanza Kenya kwanza Kenya kwanza Mungu awabariki sana. Asante sana sasa Tuende vihiga mheshimiwa Kagesi wa chama cha ANC. Asante, asante. Na wasalimu watu wa Kakamega Mirembe. Mimi naitwa Kagesi mbunge wa vihiga na nimekuja tu kuambia kitu kimoja peke yake. Kwa muda mrefu sisi watu wa Mulembe tumeambiwa masilahi yetu itatokea kwa Lake na tukatii sheria. Lakini wakati tulikuwa na athi kwa kisiku kingine tukapata south is east east is west sasa mimi nawaambia tuachane na hiyo mambo ya lake vindu vya kuchenja asanteni sana Sasa nataka tusikie kwa shangwe na vigelegele nataka tuite the bullfighter mheshimiwa Oni Galwale Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Vana Beru. Vana Beru. Muliango. Weka hii mabango chini. Vana Beru. Muliango kuku injira musirikali ni mzito Muliango kuku injira musirikali Watu wengi wanatamani Nina muomba mnibana beru Nina muomba mnibana beru Muliango yoko Muliango yoko 
Nayi kula mliango oka. Nayi kula mliango oka. Mutabati wai kula mliango oka. Wetangula wai kula mliango oka. Ikula, ikula. Ikula, ikula. Ikula muliangu ikula. Uliri. Bana beru. Leo ni siku kubwa. Ninachukua nafasi hii kumweleza nyinyi watu wa Busia, watu wa Vihiga, watu wa Tranzoia, vandu vivu ngoma. Nende vandu wakakameka na mueleza kwamba Choices have consequences Tulikuja hapa tukampatia Raila Raila mepewa nafasi katika handshake Ile nafasi amejenga international stadium kisumu kwao Ya pili amejenga meli Pot ya meli kisumu kwao. Ameboresha international airport ya kisumu kwao. Amechukua maji, amepeleka siaya kwao. Vijana oe. Na ametengeneza reli kutoka Nairobi kuenda kisumu kwao. Na kakamega. Busia, Vihiga, Vungoma, Tranzoya, Raila Riswa, Raila Kwenda, Kwenda Kabisa, Riswa, Amen. Valuya, Valuya, Mweshmiwa William Ruto, Akiwa na Mamlaka, and I want to believe you that you know the truth akiwa na mamlaka alifanya urafiki na Daniel Liula Hamasi former MP wa Shinyalu akampatia Liula Hamasi Shikalagala National Polytechnic akanipatia mimi bana beru akanipatia mimi bushiangala titi ai akapatia soita shiamberere titi ai Akapatia soita na kaluare Butari Sugar Company Akapatia washari Barabara na Rashidi Barabara kutoka Ibokolo Mbaka Shianda Mbaka Mahala Malaha Mbaka na Ambacha Hii mukwara ina hitu wa Titus Hamala Valuyo oye Nyinyi vijana mkwa hapo 40 Mwenye Titus ametuma hapa Nyenyekea kabisa Haluariz in control Ukifanya nyue utapaki hapi Vijana ye Titus Hamala William Ruto wakambeba wakaenda Hapa Lurambi Wakampatia Lemi kutoka Lurambi Mbaka Shikoti Mbaka Ingoze Mbaka Namanja Mbaka Dorfi Mbaka Bungoma Ruto Sharim Sata Today, I beg you to chukue mweshmiwa musaria seriously. To chukue wetangula seriously. They have made sacrifices for the sake of our youth. Wetangula, I will stand behind you. Mudevati, I will stand behind you. We must empower our youth. Mimi, vanabeu, mimi nimekoma nimekoma na leo ninamtangazia kwamba what is important to me is not what i will get what is important to me ni kwamba kupitia kwa, rai, kwa, kwa serikali ya William Samoe Ruto na msali ya mdabadi na wetangula tupatie watoto wetu ajira tupatie watoto wetu empowerment na mimi Malala relax Na mimi Valeo Na mimi today 
I have been an MP for 10 years. I'm too big to be an MCA. Mimi nimekuwa naibu wa rais wa Mwai Kibaki. I'm too big to be a woman MP. Mimi nimekuwa senator for 5 years. I'm too big to be a senator again. Leo nitakuwa gavana wenu na nikiwa gavana Baluya wewe Nikimalizia Nikimalizia wakati nitakuwa gavana wenu when the national government empowers you I will empower you I am going to create jobs. Nita akikisha kwamba 200 billion worth of gold in Shinyalu and Kolomani itampatia ajira. Nita akikisha kwamba sector ya tourism itafungua nafasi ya kazi. Watali wataingia baada ya mimi kufungua Kakamega International Airport Watalii watakuwa wakitua hapa wakifanya biashara. Watalii wataingia hapa. Watakuja Malinya. Wakifika Malinya kuona bull fighting wanawaja pesa. Nitaporesha Ihongo Murui. Wakifika Ihongo Murui watawaja pesa. Nitaporesha utalii katika Kakameka Forest. Wakifika Kakameka Forest watawaja pesa tutaporesha nabongo mosilium wakifika mumiasi kwa nabongo mosilium watawaja pesa bana baru unda leo asante sana mheshimiwa Galwale mheshimiwa Boni Galwale mimi nataka kumvulia kofia kwa sababu yeye amekuwa mzee wa heshima lakini watu kaka mega anataka kuwaibia siri Ni hiyo siri ni sitoboe. Iko mtu anaitwa Oparanya. Anataka kutupanga. Kwa miaka kumi amechukua kiti amekuwa nayo huko. Sasa anataka kuchukua kiti cha governor tena apatie mtoto wao kutoka kule chini. Mtakubali kweli? Ndiposa mimi na mheshimiwa Boni Galwale. I want to say it here. Tumesema sisi tutakaa chini. Vile mheshimiwa Ruto na mheshimiwa Msalia wameelewana hata mimi na mheshimiwa Boni tutaelewana Moja wetu moja wetu atakuwa gavana na mwingine akuwe seneta Tukisema Boni Galwale ndio gavana mimi nakubali Mukisema Cleo ndio akuwe gavana mimi nakubali mara kumi Sasa mimi na Boni Galwale tutafanya kazi. Sasa nataka kuita kijana anaitwa Cheriot, Senator Cheriot. Kakame Weka. Wa. Kakamega oe. Wapi salamu ya Kenya kwanza? Wacha nikuulize. Wewe kama wewe ni coach, unaunda timu yako. Uko na umwami Musalia kwa defense. Mzee weta anashikilia midfield na kijana hasla anapepeta pale striking. Hiyo timu inaweza haiwezi. Hiyo timu inaweza haiwezi. Alafu ati ile timu tunashindana nayo ati defender wao ni ule mzee wa Manyororo. Ule broker anaitwa nani? Ati ule broker anaitwa nani? Ni broker ama si broker? Ya sababu nilisikia akisema ati tukikuja kakamega tuwezi pata watu. Nini ni wakakamega? Nini ni wakakamega? Kila saa mimi naona huyo broker, mimi nakumbuka kile babu yangu aliniambia. Aliniambia do not listen to all old men because even fools age. Mnaelewa hiyo maneno? Hata wajinga wanazeeka. Sio wazee wote ambao ni werevu. Huyo mzee mambo yake msahau. Ya mwisho, mimi nataka ku request hii team yetu ya team Kenya kwanza. Mimi ni kijana kama hawa vijana. I want to plead with you. Youth unemployment is a national disaster. 
na ndio maana sisi tunakasirika sana tukiona rais wetu baada ya miaka kumi ya kumpatia kazi ati yeye anaita vijana kwa set house anaanza kuwauzia siasa ya ukabila hiyo ni ushenzi ama si ushenzi sio ni upuzi tunataka tuache tabia kama hiyo and i plead with the leadership that is here many of these young people are jobless hopeless wanafungwana na fuliza mshwari sijui gani tafadhalini wakati na ile naitwa tala na branch hata wananikumbusha zingine when you get an opportunity kwa sababu miaka sitini tumekuwa tukipeleka pesa tunaweka kwa makampuni ziko kule Nairobi hiyo pesa safari hii leta hapa mashindani kwa ground chukua hiyo 50 billion weka kwa mkono ya vijana tufanye ile kitu inaitwa bottom at bottom at bottom ya mwisho mimi nimefanya kazi na huyu Cleo hii term kama senator last term tulikuwa na halwale hawa ndume wawili wakishikana kakamega itakuwa ndani ya itakuwa ndani itaiva itaiva itapangika itapangika nikirudi kericho niwaambie ni Kenya kwanza mmekubali hiyo maneno asante na Mungu awabariki thank you very much haya kiongozi wa walimu mheshimiwa asosion Kaka mega mpo Mimi mnanijua nimekuwa kiongozi wa ukweli ya walimu na wafanyakazi miaka hii yote Na ningependa kuambia leo nyinyi mlembe nation na yule mzatu alifanya research ikasemekana kwamba in 2017 kiongozi wa kuaminiwa 90% na waluya wote na hiyo ilikuwa research properly funded ilikuwa ni nani Musalia Mudavadi akiwa na nani na wetangula tunawaambia you have the best bet as a luya nation to trust your lives and your vote in Musalia Mudavadi and Moses Wetangula wafanye kazi na William Ruto akuwe rais wa tano wa Jamhuri ya Kenya ya pili Ningependa kusema kwamba youth unemployment in Kenya is one of the worst in the world at 70%. Na tukiona kasi ya uru Kenyatta kuanzia 2013 alifuruga civil societies ikamaliza. Na tena trade union yote imevurugwa katika Kenya. Na ninamwambia mzee Francis Atwali. Namwambia mzee Francis Atwali all over the world trade unions inasimama kwa haki ya wafanyakazi sana sana katika Kenya where youth unemployment is very high nasema kwamba wafanyakazi wote wa Kenya na nikiwa hapa walimu wote wako ndani ya Kenya kwanza na tutampigia kura William Ruto na timu yake asanteni sana Aya twende North Eastern Mheshimiwa Senator Mwenzangu Falhada Hasa laso akaka DJ Hasa laso akaka mega salamu alaikum Hasa laso akaka mega hamjambo Kwa majina naitwa Falhada Iman mimi ni Senator mteule kutoka Garissa Nashukuru kuwa nanyi hapa Uh, wangapi wako na kura? Unajua la kura, kura yako ni haki yako, si ndio? Huwezi ukasema unataka kuchagua rais wako na unataka kutengeneza eh, government ijayo kama hauna kura, si ndio? Tafadhali mchukua kura zenu, kura zenu ni haki zenu, si ndio? Wangapi wanasema Kenya kwanza? Mi nataka kuongea juu ya youth kama kiongozi aje awaambie kujeni mtukane kiongozi mwingine mwambie ye mwenyewe awaanzie kwanza si ndio even if is the president himself akuambie anzeni matusi nyinyi vijana ye, youth mwambie mr president ongoza wewe hizo matusi tutakufuata si ndio msikubali kutumika kabisa hasla nation oye asanteni Asante sana tunaenda Busia 
Governor mtarajiwa wa Busia, Mheshimiwa Sakwa Bunyasi. Haya, haya. Asante, asante. Kenya kwanza. Kenya kwanza. Basi asante sana yanga itakuwa mafupi sana. Mimi naitwa Sakwa Bunyasi, mbunge wa namba 4 na governor mtarajiwa wa Busia. Nina furaha tele kwamba mmekuja kuwakaribisha viongozi na vinara wetu wa Kenya kwanza. Wakiwamo naibu wa rais, Mshairi Mdavadi na Mheshimiwa Weta. Yangu itakuwa mafupi. Hii chama ya ODM ambayo nyuma yake inaitwa Azimio. Upande wetu huwa magharibi wametuletea mpango wa kando ambao unaitwa mbolea. Mnajua mbolea ni hii ni mavi ya ngombe, si ndio? Hiyo ndio mbolea, inaitwa DAP. Hiyo ni mpango wa kando ndio wametuletea sisi watu wa, wa mkoa wa Magharibi. Kwa sababu wanajua kwamba ODM hajia tutendeze tutendea sisi mazuri huu mkoa. Na hangaweza kuja wenyewe wakatuletea huo mpango wa kando. Mupangeni huo mpanga wa kando mumweke kando kabisa na kwa wale warafiki zetu ambao wameenda kwenye huo mpanga wa kando wamekimbia nyumba ya mamao na babao wameenda inje ambao wamefichwa tuwaachwe ajifiche huko na tupige kura tuwapate watu wengine waingie ndani tuwe na siasa ibadi na tuangazia sisi na mwisho kabisa uchumi umezorateka sana juzi walifanya utafiti na utafiti na Rebu kusema kwa watu kila watu kumi, wata wanne hawezi kulipa hata rent hawezi chakula huo sasa ndio uchumi ambao rais anataka kuridhi kupitia kwa project yake ya hapa karibu karibu hapa mimi namuomba kwamba tukitaka kuwa na hewa safi nzuri mpya tuchukue hii timu ambayo tunayo hapa leo timu ya Kenya kwanza tuko pamoja haya ni watu tuone kwa ishara ya mikono tuko pamoja Ah wengi wamechoka. Asanteni sana. Asante sana. Sasa twende kwa Secretary General, the youngest Secretary General in Kenya, kijana kutoka Mount Kenya, SG Wangu. Bila huyu hata certificate sitapata bana. Mimi nakuheshimu Mheshimiwa Simon Gakuru. Asante, 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 asante. Amalemba oi. Amalemba oi. Kaka mega oi vijana mpo hebu ndio naacha salamu ya Kenya kwanza salamu ya Kenya kwanza salamu ya Kenya kwanza asanteni sana sisi tulikuwa tunasikia eti hapa huyu jamaa nimesikia kitu wa minyororo ati yeye ndiye kusema hapa ati hakuna watu watafika leo nyinyi mnapangwa kweli unajua mimi kama katibu mkuu wa chama nilipata nafasi ya kukaa chini na na mheshimiwa Mosalia tukazungumza tukasema sasa tunataka kwenda state house tuko pamoja lakini wale watu ambao tulikuwa nao na mnawajua wanajiita oka tukienda tukifanya mkutano moja wanasema kwanza tukunywe chai tukikunywa chai wanasema leta mandazi tukimaliza mandazi yule jamaa sjiwa baringo anasema chai ni baridi tukikaa tena unasikia eh, leta watermelon tukule sasa tukajiuliza tukienda na hii speed tutafika state house kweli tungefika ndipo sasa mheshimiwa msali akasema tunaenda kujiunga na watu ambao wanaenda mbio kama jet na hao ndio hasla nation hebu ndio nasha watu wanaunga mkono hiyo kwa hivyo sisi kama ANC tuko ndani ya Kenya kwanza ambaye inaongozwa na hasla mwenyewe wetangula na msali ya mudavadi wakati tulifanya earthquake muliona earthquake wangapo waliona earthquake kuna watu ambao waliumia na wao wote ambao wametoroka wamesema sisi wameenda huko kwa fertilizer tutowafagia tutowafagia nikisema jina mnasema home tuko pamoja uhuru atori oparanya Fataliza asanteni Mungu awabariki. Sasa tuende kwa wakili wangu Mheshimiwa Havi. Watu wa Kakamega hamjambo. Mimi naitwa Nelson Havi. Mambo yangu ni matatu pekee. 
la kwanza kwa muda mrefu wamesema watu wa Western hawataungana. Leo tumeungana katika muungano wa Kenya kwanza. Tunaye Dr. William Samoe Ruto, tunaye Msalia Mudavadi, tunaye Moses Wetangula. Tafadhali muhakikishe serikali inayokujwa inaungwa na watu watatu. Umesikia? La tatu kuna wale wamezoea kutupotosha sisi watu wa Western Kenya. Wengine ni jirani wetu na wengine ni mandugu zetu. Tafadhali musifuate mwelekeo wao, sivyo? La tatu kuna wale wameleta uoga kusema kwamba kura ya William Samoe Ruto itaibiwa. Hiyo kura haitaibiwa. Na mimi kama wakili mkuu katika tafai hili itahakikisha kwamba haki ya watu wa Kenya kuchagua rais wao inadhimishwa sivyo barikiwe santeni sana twende nyamira na mheshimiwa gemose asante sana asante sana asante sana watu waka kamera mchambo kwa machina mimi naitwa Vincent Kemosi ni mbunge wa West Mugrango kule Nyamira. Leo mimi nimefika hapa na hapari moja tu. Kule Nyamira na kisi kwa chumla mwaka huu ikifika tarehe nane mwezi wa tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane tumeamua rais atatoka Kenya kwanza ambaye naongozwa na naibu wa rais William Samoei Ruto. Hapa hapa kakamega mumeamua hivyo? La pili mimi nataka kuwaambia wale viongozi especially the head of state to give us space so that the Kenyans wa Kenya nyinyi mwenyewe wenyewe mchiamurie mchawe rais wenu na sisi tunasema tumekataa ile project ya mzee ya kitendawili ambayo itumeletewa na rais wetu tumekataa na sisi tunasema the head of state rais wa Kenya hii should be the symbol of unit ile tapia ambayo rais amefanya siku ya chana ambayo imaenda kuimba huko state house ile that is a sign of division read by the head of state the head of state ambaye ni rais uhuru kenyata achiandae astahafu aende nyumbani wa kenya tuchitagurie Ebu nione kura ya naibu wa rais the fifth president of the republic of kenya asante sana sasa twende rift valley mheshimiwa oscar sudi bas bas vijana mko mambo hebu mnisalamie wenyewe wako wa kenya kwanza kwa na kenya kwanza kenya kwanza kenya kwanza simuliona nilikuwa na kesi huko nakuru Walisema nilitusimama ya mtu. Lakini nauliza nyinyi. Muliona atuole juzi akiwa Mombasa? Akitusimama wa, wa mama wa deputy president. Simuliona? Akatusimama Msalia. Marehemu. Uhuru si alikuwa hapo. Si alikuwa anapiga makofi. Na wakati mimi nilisema mama yake na mama yangu wanafanana akanipeleka kotini. Hiyo ni haki kweli. Hiyo ni haki kweli. Alafu jana. Jana. Muliona jana uhuru Kenyata? Ati anaambia vijana ati sasa lazima mkuu na future. Mimi nataka niwaulize vijana wa Kenya hata kama akili yako ni kidogo mtu amekuwa kwa uongozi for the last 10 years. Alafu anataka kwa transfer sasa muende kwa mse wa 78 years. Sisi kijoto ni mbaya. Tunawaambia waje. Tunawaambiaje? Tunawaambiaje? Wangatu wanasema Kenya iko sawa. Ya mwisho Najua wanapanga mambo mingi. Mimi nataka niwahakikishie hawa jamaa Kenya itakuwa na amani ya kutosha katika taifa hii. Kwa hii kura tunaenda 2022 itakuwa the most uh, peaceful election. Kwa sababu najua yule unasikia yeye maneno ya Twali anaongeanga. Si mnajua yeye mzee wa nyororo mingi kwa shingo kama ya umbwa. Mnajua yeye mzee? Mimi wana furia yangu watu wakikuwa wakubwa akili inasidi kuwa kubwa. Lakini ya Twali kila siku inateremka inateremka anafanya ororo nasikia siku hizi anafanya ororo mpaka upande yeye nyingine kijo wake anafanya kazi vizuri kweli mnasemaje arambe arambe 
wewe uhuru tulikufanyia campaign tulisunguka Kenya msima tukimba uhuru ruto tano tena utuheshimu heshimu wa Kenya ile pesa umetuibia enda ukule pole pole Mungu awabariki sana haya chairman wa ANC Kelvin Lunani haya 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 vijana hoi vijana hoi sema control sema control ruto control mudavadi control weta control sasa leo nikiwa mwenyekiti wa kitaifa wa chama cha amani mimi nina furaha tele manake mkoa wa magharibi umeongea na umeongea kwa sababu leo ni siku ambayo mumejifungua katika nyororo za wazee mabwenyenye na matapeli waliokuwa wametuteka nyara kwa kupitia kwa kura yetu vijana wewe atijana ajenda ya rais nukukua chairman wa chama kama mimi atazimio asanteni sana vijana wa asante sana sasa tangazo kesho saa tatu tunaenda sisi wote kabarnet kenya nzima inaenda kule kabarnet na hata watu wameanza kuingia kwa stadium saa hii kesho mnaenda kuona earthquake kingine kule mnataka fair Munataka fair? Yeah. Mimi nitawapanga msijali bana. Mama Dagala. Haya haya vijana mpo. Hebu nione wale wanasema Kenya kwanza. Haya. Mmetupendeza sana. Mmeonyesha yule mzee penye yako kaka mega mmeamua raundi hii mchezo wa tutaki tuambie hao ya kwamba gari limeondoka na tunaenda tumeenda wakati Raila alienda handshake Harambe House alitangaza alituambia wakati msali mdamadi wamepelekana handshake na Ruto si ilikuwa hadharani ilikuwa wapi Ilikuwa wapi? Alafu nini ikatokezea? Adhi kwek, semeni adhi kwek. Hii serikali ndio itajali mama, itajali watoto na Mungu atubariki. Sasa nataka kuita jirani wetu, Seneta Mwenzangu, Seneta Cherarge. Ah. Ah, ya DJ, ya DJ. Arambe Arambe Bas muko sawa Muko rada Muko rien Bas niko na ujumbe moja tu Hata kama kuna shida ya ukosefu wa kazi katika Kenya yetu kwa sababu ya vijana We should not allow the desperation of lack of unemployment ambaye rais mzima anaita vijana state house na anaenda kuambia watusi vi, vi, wa, viongozi wengine mnakubaliana hiyo maneno? Nataka niulize viongozi ya Kenya kwanza wakiongozwa na William Ruto, Mudavadi na Weta kuwa tarehe tisa mkichukua serikali ya Kenya muite wa, wale watu wa kanisa waende watoe hiyo hiyo baibu wameka katika state house mnakubaliana naye? Na sisi nataka niulize vijana mkitaka tushinde round one Tujitokeze tupike kura ili tuende mbele sina namna hiyo na huyu jirani yangu amekuwa jirani mzuri si mambo yake iko sawa si amesema ataongea na Kalwale huyu tumefanya na yeye kazi yako sawa yako rito sina namna hiyo wangapi watasimama na Kenya kwanza Kenya kwanza Kenya asanteni sana haya tuende Garissa woman representative wa Garissa mheshimiwa Anam Malembelan, asalamu alaikum. Vijana muko. Wazee muko. Na wamama je? Mimi naitwa Anna Mohamed, women rep wa Garissa County, kule Northeastern. Si mnajua? Salala, leo ni leo. Asema kesho ni. Bas niko na furaha kufika huku leo. Na ninaona vile mumejitokeza 
Sasa tariva ni moja tu. Kenya kwanza. Wangapi wanasema Kenya kwanza? Asanteni sana kule North Eastern. Sisi tumesema tuko nyuma ya William Samoe Arab Ruto, tuko nyuma ya MDVD, tuko nyuma ya Weta. Wangapi wamesema wako nyuma ya hao watatu? Asanteni sana na mubarikiwe. Asante na chukua fursa hii kushukuru viongozi wa hapa Mheshimiwa Peter Mate asante sana Mheshimiwa Alan wa hapa asante sana na Mheshimiwa Saneka asante sana Mheshimiwa Shali karibuni Bas asante mimi najua mahali penye tinga yuko analala Kwa hivyo nikisema harambe Lazima mujibu kwa sauti ya juu Kenya kwanza ili mzamuke. Ama namna gani? Arambe! Arambe! Bazi mimi niko na ujumbe mbili. Kwanza, mimi natoka Wangaland. Na Wangaland ndiyo imekuwa mlango ya tinga kuingia hapa Western. Kwa sababu alikuwa nasema ati kwamba yeye ni mchukua nane. Ama na mna kani? Adiene mchukua nane. Wewe kabla ujakua mchukua nane, baba yako lazima hawa ya likuwa mchukua saba. Mshazikia, ule mzema reemu, akisema kwamba yeye ni mchukua saba. Kwa hivyo maneno ya raila ni uwo, uongo. Ama na mna kani? Na kweni ilikuja kudhirika juzi, kama wewe ni mchukua maali. Na unapewa kitu na ndugu yako kupitia kwa handshake. Jumla ya projects ya 250 billion Sangaleta jamene hata project moja hapa kakamega Kwa hivyo hiyo ni uongo Ama na mnagani Jambo la pili Mumeona hawa watu wa Kenya kwanza Yoyota kilala hapa Mumeona yoyota kilala hapa Mimi nataka ni wambie Sumeona tinga kilala Na ikiwa kiongozi ya naweza kulala hadharani Uyu uhuru alituambia kazi, haifanyui kwa, 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 kwa magari, inafanyua kwa ofisi. Na ikiwa kiongoza naweza kulala adharani, mbele ya umati kama hii, akirudi kwa ofisi jameni, anaweza kulala kiwango gani? Na ndipo saa hii, tinga na lala, ama na mna gani? Kumekua na msafara kule viiga, kumekua na msafara kule siaya, lakini kwa sababu tinga na lala mmemuona kiandamana na hawa kwa hivyo mwezi kupatie uongozi mtu wa kulala mimi nataka kuuliza mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta swali moja alafu niende nikae mbona unataka kupatia uongozi mtu mwenye analala kwa sababu ni nini utakuwa unataka kufanya kama huyo analala na wewe unafanya kwa hiyo ofisi Kuliyalala Kuliyalala Uyu uhuru yuko na ukora Anataka kuibia wa Kenya Kama tinga na lala Nyinyi watu wakakameka mutakubali Bazi nataka mnionyeshe Kenya kwanza, Kenya kwanza, Kenya kwanza Asante sana Aya tuende gavana Kwa county ya Tranzoya Mweshimi wa Chris Wa Malwa Ay, 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 vijana, ay, vijana, ay, weta, ay, mudavadi, ay, ruto, ay, basi kwa majina na ito wa mwishimu wa Chris wa Malwa, mubunge wa Kiminini and incoming governor wa Transoya County. Sisi tumekuja hapa siku ya leo, kama Kenya kwanza, wangabi wanasema, wanakubaliana na hii serikali ya Ruto ya Msalia na Weta. Sisi tukiwa nyumba ya Mlembe 2013 tulitembea na baba. 2017 tukatembea na baba. Na huyu baba akatupiga teke hakutaka kutuheshimu. Mswahili anasema mjinga akiyeravuka mwerevu wako wapi? Mwerevu wako wapi? Sisi tunataka kuformu serikali 2022 bila baba. Mnakubali bila baba? Tuformu serikali bila baba. 
Haya nataka tuimbe mpaka kule set house wasikie ya kwamba yote inawezekana bila baba. Sawa sawa? Yote yawezekana bila baba. Yote yawezekana bila baba. Asanteni sana na Mungu wa amani awabariki. Haya sasa tuende kwa mjukuu wa na Bongo Original. Hapana ule fake. Anaitwa Rashid Muhammad. Aya Bwana Yesu asifiwe tusalamene kwa hewa Bwana Yesu asifiwe Asalamu alaikum Kaka Mega Kaka Mega eh Kaka Mega William Ruto eh Musalia eh Weta eh Gashagwa eh Kindui kuthuri eh Asante ni sana Basi ndugu zangu Nataka nichukue fursa hii kwanza. Niambie ndugu yangu Msalia, ndugu yangu Weta, mmetutoa kwa aibu kubwa sana Kenya hii. Sisi waluya kule Nairobi tunajulikana kama watu ya kupika ugali na kukua watchmen. Lakini leo ujasiri wa ndugu yangu Msalia na ujasiri wa Weta wa maonyesha inchi Leo vile tunaongea hapa mluya ameheshimika Kenya hii my friend. Pili ndugu zangu hapa nyumbani, mimi ni mtoto wenu. Leo mnaona imedhihirika mchana mchana ya kwamba mheshimiwa rais Uhuru Kinyata hataki kwenda nyumbani. Mimi nimeshangaa jana mliona mheshimiwa rais rais wa inchi anaita vijana wadogo anateka advantage ya vijana hawajawahi ingia state house anaenda kuimbisha vijana kwa nyumba ya heshima nyumba ambayo inaheshimiwa na wakenya anaenda kuimbisha reggae vijana kwa state house jameni huyu rais anahitaji maombi haitaji maombi na mimi najua ile naogopesha rais sisi alituambia tutoe kwa serikali akatoa kwa serikali. Na sisi kwa vile tunamcha Mwenyezi Mungu tukasema serikali ndio hiyo isije ikasemekana sisi ndio tulikuwa chanjo chanzo cha wakenya kuumia. Sisi tukamwachia serikali. Rais ameogopa. Leo vile tunaongea hapa ameingiza wakenya kwa umasikini. Amefuliza inchi na familia yake. Sasa anaogopa sisi tukichukua serikali ataulizwa maswali. Rais wewe sikiza my friend. Mimi sikuogopi mimi naogopa Mwenyezi Mungu peke yake. Na mimi ni Muislamu leo nikiwawa kesho mimi nimezikwa bana. Mimi nataka niambie Rais Uhuru Kinyata. Jana umesema ya kwamba sasa unataka ofisini unakuja kwa kiwanja. Sisi tumekungoja. Number one. Kabla ukuje kwa kiwanja ambia wa Kenya kwa nini deni ya Kenya ilitoka trilioni tisa ikafika trilioni kumi na moja bila approval ya, ya, ya bunge ya Kenya that is number one number two akuja ambia wa Kenya pesa ya covid billionaires alituambia in 24 days hao watu watakuwa wameshikwa atuambia hiyo pesa iko wapi ati ndugu zetu vile tunaongea hapa leo Rais wa inchi ya Kenya is among the top 10 richest presidents in the world. Atuambie hiyo pesa ilitoka wapi? Leo vile tunazungumza hapa ndugu zetu. Ati hata President Obama amekuwa president wa America leo vile tunazungumza hapa. Ati Rais Uhuru Kinyata ni tajiri kumshinda jameni. Si mnaona hawa watu ni matapeli? Na mimi nataka niambie mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta nikiwa hapa nyumbani. Omba Mungu kabisa kwa sababu najua wewe ni Mkatoliki. Ndugu yangu William Ruto na Msalia Mdavadi na Weta. Wasije wakafanya makosa. Kwa hii serikali tunatengeneza wanifanye tu hata assistant minister wa internal security. 
Uhuru mimi nakwambia wacha hiyo ndugu yangu hapa huwa nakwambia tutakuchunga mimi nitaishi kwa mlangao katundu pesa ya wakenya utarudisha my friend eh ala na ndio mnaona shida ya rais kwenda kuchukua mtu mwenye anaishi maisha miaka ya, ya bonus mnajua miaka ya kuishi dunia hii ni miaka sabini nyinyi mnajua Francis Atwoli ako na miaka sabini na nane ati leo ndio chief advisor wa rais uhuru kenyata si mnaona hii nchi inahitaji maombi na mwisho kabisa niliona jana mama yangu dada yetu kilobi akisema ati anaomba mimi niwachane na yeye kwa mambo ya siasa mimi nataka niambie Mary Kilobi nikiwa hapa nyumbani inafaa jue wakati atuole anaita mama Recho majina mama wa taifa ule sisi tunaheshimu mama ambaye hachokozi mtu yeyote mama ambaye anajua kusema tu bwana Yesu asifiwe inafaa jua anachokoza wananchi wa Kenya na mimi nataka niambie Mary Kilobi sikiza mahali huko wewe unanijua vizuri zidi ya tuoli kwa sababu unajua eh mnasikia Kilobi ananijua zaidi kushinda atuoli kwa sababu yeye alikuwa kifagio yangu kabla aende kwa atuoli eh Tuendelee tusiendelee Atuoli anatuheshimu asituheshimu Usipotuwe heshima na sisi pia tutakosea heshima Mwisho kabisa nataka niambie uhuru Kenyatta The 35th president of the Republic of United States John F Kennedy he answered forgive your enemies but never forget their names Mr Uhuru Kenyatta I want to tell you when I'm, when I'm at home here we shall forgive you but Kenyans will never forget your name Uhuru Kenyatta Asante sana Mungu awabariki jameni Haya mheshimiwa Joana Ngeno aongee Asante Arambe Nikisema Arambe mseme Kenya kwanza Arambe Watu wakakamega muko Jambo la kwanza ni kwamba sisi kama Kenya kwanza tumeunga mkono ile kukubaliana kwa naibu ya rais na mudavadi na wetangula Je, nyinyi wakakamega muko hapo? Hebu wageni mkono juu tujue kwamba nyinyi mmeunga hiyo mkono. Namba tu, wakati tunaenda kupiga kura, hatuombi mtu kura ni yetu. Si ni ukweli? Tukishapiga kura, kura lazima ichungwe, ihesabiwe na mtu ambaye ameshinda atangazwe. Kweli ama si kweli? Matisho ya kutuambiwa ya kwamba ati fulani akishindwa hawezi tangazwa tunaambia hawa shetani ashi tunataka rais aheshimu mafikira na mwelekeo ya kwenya kama vile tuliheshimu wakati alipopigiwa kura 2013 na 2017 mwenye atapigiwa kura pia wakati huu ambao wako hapa naye pia afanya nini? Asanteni sana. Haya twende Kikuyu. Mheshimiwa Kimani Chungwa. Haya asante kakamega huyu. Yangu yatakuwa ni machache. Vijana wa Kakamega muko na njaa? Muko na njaa? Mnajua kufuliza? Huwa mnafuliza? Amjalipa? Sikizeni ujumbe. Siku ya jana, siku gani? Vijana kutoka mlima Kenya walikusanywa huko State House. Madeni yao ya fuliza wakalipiwa na Uhuru Kenyatta na pesa ya Kemsa. Nataka niwatangazie leo. Mkiona Uhuru Kenyatta 
Mumuambia hata vijana wakakamega wako na njaa Na wako na madeni ya fuliza Awaite state house pia Lakini asiwape elfu nane aliopea vijana wa Mount Kenya Ile pesa wameweka kwa budget Na mimi mnajua mimi zimu enda wazimu Mimi nilikuwa chairman wa budget Kwa hivyo najua kukagua all budget lines Ile pesa wameweka ya kuhonga vijana Ni shilingi alfu ishirini kwa kila kijana Waliibia vijana jana state house wakawape elfu nane Kwa hivyo vijana wakakamega siku watawaita Mupewe pesa yenyu ikiwa kamili Munataka mulipiwe madeni ya fuliza musilipiwe La pili Nataka ni muulize rais huru kenyata With all due respect my president Kenyans bestowed on you the greatest honor they could ever bestow on you To elect you as the president of the republic of Kenya They elected you 10 years ago to inspire hope, to create job opportunities, and create better opportunities for the youth in Kenya. They never elected you to be a choir master in State House. They never elected you to lead in reggae dances in State House. Respect the highest office in the Republic of Kenya, the office that the people of Kenya bestowed on you. Respect the people of Kenya and allow them to elect the president of their choice on the 9th of August 2022. Kakamega muko tayari kupangwa? Mutapangika? Mutapangika? Hampangwingwi? Ndiyo tunataka tuambie raisu wetu tunamuheshimu. Lakini tunumpea ofisi ilio na hathi. Tukamueka kwa ikulu. Ikulu haikuwa. Ya kuweka choir master wa dance ya reggae na kuimba nyimbo za kushusha hadhi ofisi ya rais Tunataka atumie ile ofisi Muda uliobaki atumie ofisi ya state house na ofisi ya rais Kutuambia ni nani walioiba pesa za wakenya za covid huko kemsa Atuambia situambie Atuambie ni nani alioiba Zaidi ya bilioni miyamoja na mradi wa SGR kutoka Nairobi kuenda Naivasha kuhipeleka kwa shamba la mtu binafsi. Atuambia situambie. Atuambia situambie. La mwisho, tunataka atuambie. After giving you 10 years to create opportunities for our youth, you have failed to create those opportunities. Now you seek to misuse our youth we want you to tell us what is your interest in bestowing a puppet on the people of Kenya utuambie ni kwa interest ya nani unataka kushinikisha wana Kenya wachagwe huyo mtu wakitenda wili atuambia situambie la mwisho mimi nataka ni waambie ya liosemwa na Rashid Echesa ni ukweli the budget policy statement ya budget ya mwaka huu Wameshindwa kutebo report kwa bunge Sababu imepitisha the debt ceiling Ambayo imepitishwa na bunge We want to tell them You cannot put the cart before the horse Kabla utulete BPS Leta mswada kwa bunge Wakuongeza debt ceiling Lakini ukileta kwanza utuambie yale madeni Mechukua, imetumika kufanya kazi gani Kweli si kweli Kwa hayo machache Mimi nataka niambie mweshimua rais Nikimalizia Wacha kugawanya vijana wa Kenya Kwa misingi ya kikabila You cannot use state house The highest office in the republic To, con to conduct ethnic meetings Of the youth in Kenya if you want to meet the youth in Kenya, meet the youth of Kakamega, meet the youth of Luonyanza, meet the youth of Narok, meet the youth of the coast. You cannot use State House to conduct what we call ethnic balkanization of our country. The last time we saw 
our youth, especially from Mount Kenya, being ferried in buses into State House, we ended up with post-election violence in 2007-2008. And we want to caution you, please do not balkanize our country along ethnic lines. Kwa hawa mengi na machache, nikirudi kiambu, niwambia kakamega ni Kenya kwanza, ama ni kuzimia. Harambe! Hebu ni ono watu wa Kenya kwanza? Asante sana. Sasa tumebaki na watu wa wili wa tatu alafu tuende kwa wadusi. Sasa nataka kuita Senator Mwenzangu, Senator Murkomen. Asante sana. Kakameka oe. Kakameka oe. Tusalimene watu wa kakameka na mnae. Asante ni sana. Yangu ni machache sana. Mimi ni mtu usio mgeni hapa kakameka. Sindio? Si tumekuta kucheza mpira hapa. Tumekua na kileo hapa hapa. Eh, Captain mwenyewe. Kwa hivyo mimi nikiwa hapa ni nataka kusema. Sisi tumekuja kama kikundi cha Kenya kwanza. Kwa sababu tunamini kwa umoja wa taifa letu. Tunaamini ya kwamba tuko katika ile state at the moment kwa inji yetu yenye inafaa wa Kenya walinde demokrasia yao. Wapate nafasi ya kuchakulia na kuchichakulia kiongozi ambayo au wenyewe wanataka kuwa kiongozi wao. Na nikiwa hapa kakamega nataka kushukuru sana mweshimiwa Musali ya Mudavadi, mweshimiwa Moses Wetangula. Na kwa sababu waliweka ni... Eh, 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 Aja yao kando ya kibinafsi, wakashikana na chief asla, wakasema wanataka kwa kikisha kwamba i atwe kimekuja na mdavadi, imeweza kuingia Kenya mzima na wa Kenya waungane kuwa kitu kimoja. Mumuna kubali na mna iyo? Mungependa tuungane kuwa kitu kimoja? I want to tell uh, wa Kenya wetu wote ya kwamba these elections of 2022, the most important decision we are going to make is to be the country that decides the leaders they want. Tunataka kuwa inchi ambayo tuko na haki kuchakua kiongozi pamoja na sera ambazo sisi wenyewe tumeamua. Na kwa sababu minajua ya kwamba, waasha jua tayari, wamejua tayari hii mrengo ya Kenya kwanza hii kombele. Ndiyo nimeona mzee wa kitendawili, hameamua kueka uhuru mbele, yeye achificha hapo nyuma, Ati ndiyo sisi tupingane na uhuru, yeye mwenyewe apite katikati. We want to tell uhuru Kenyatta. There was enough time, there was enough time you should have fought William Ruto in 2013 or 2017 when you are asking for votes. We want you to get out of the way. We want to deal with Raida Odinga mundu kumundu. Sisi wenyewe tuko na uwezo. We are wondering, we are asking ourselves, tunajiuliza, kwa ni uhuru ndiyo anasimama rais? Ama ni Raila na asimama Rais. Nani ndi atakuja kuangosa Kenya? Ni uyu uuru ama uyu mzee wa kitendawili? We want Kenya kwanza tupambane na the candidate, the person who wants to be the president of Kenya. So president uuru Kenyata, wewe enda, sunguka, enda Uganda, enda Tanzania, enda America, enda England, enda uambia hawa kwa eri, kwa eri, unaenda retire. Wachia sisi tupambane na uyu jamaa na program zake. Ama na mnagani? Ya pili tunataka kusema, sisi kama vijana, tunajua, by the way, niliona jana rais. Hata vile alikuwa na campaign, analazimisha kuonekana ni mtu wa mefurai. Huyo jamaa kuna stress ile ya ajabu. Kwa sababu huyo mze wake kumzukuma ni shida. Na niliona jana, mbaka rais anaimba manyimbo za yote ya wezekana zijui kwa sababu ya nani. Siyo ni desperation. Tata kuambia uru kenyata, you are looking so bad. You are looking so desperate. You are looking so yani weak. You are looking so stressed. Relax mzee. Wewe waachia sisi huyu mtu wa kitendawili. Wacha yeye abebe mziko yake. Kama hawezi, songa kando, sisi tunyoroshane na yeye. Ama namna gani? Kwa sababu sisi tunataka tuone state house ni nyumba ya heshima, tunaheshimiana, uongozi mwenye wako hapo atafanya yake aondoke. Lakini kama yeye Anatoka kama president, anataka kuwa kama party leader. Ati ndiyo akua anawusa certificate, aseme nani, anamepewa certificate, nani, anashindana nani, ati anenda kumanage nominations. Mutu amekua president ya Kenya. Oh my God. I pity you president Uru Kenyata. Please, 
Wewe songa tu pole pole. Wachia sisi na kina Malala na kina hao wote tupambane na Kenya. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Thank you so much. Sasa tuende Taraka Niti. Kule kwa mheshimiwa deputy speaker aliyekuwa mheshimiwa Kindiki Kituri. Aya 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 Abandu vefu milembe Milembe handi Milembe Eh Munasemanga twa na swa na mia Milembe mwesi Nikisema Arambe munasema Kenya kwanza Arambe mimi nataka niseme mambo machache. Ya kwanza tumekuja hapa kutangaza ya kwamba muungano wetu wa Kenya kwanza umefika hapa Kakamega kuleta viongozi wetu ambao ni Musalia Mdavadi, William Ruto na Moses Wetangula. Mimi nataka niwaulize swali. Mungetaka Mudavadi na Wetangula na Ruto wafanye kasi pamoja. Wangapi wanasema Kenya kwanza ifanye kazi pamoja? Asante. Ya pili, niko na swali ya pili. Kuna watu wako huko State House Nairobi. Wanasema wao ndio watalazimisha ule atakuwa rais. Nyinyi mtapangwa ama mpangwingwi? Mtapangwa ama mpangwingwi? Ya mwisho, nataka nichukue nafasi hii ni seme kama vile wenze, wenzangu wamesema ya kwamba wakati umefika tumefanya geswa kia kutosha sasa lazima tuambiene ukweli jameni na ukweli ndio huu ya kwamba ile vita ya siasa ambayo tunaenda kufanya ile campaign tunaenda kufanya katika uchaguzi it is very clear now ya kwamba hii azimio sio ya Raila Odinga hii azimio Sio ya atuoli na sio ya hao wazee wengine. Hii azimio mwenyewe ni rais Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. Kweli si kweli? Yeye anataka kujiridhi. Na sisi tunataka kumwambia rais. Kuna marais wengi sana wamejaribu hiyo mchezo na haijawezekana. Daniel Moi alijaribu akazama. Uko Botswana, president wa Botswana alijaribu kuinterfere na succession akadhulumu deputy wake akazama saa hii deputy wake ndiye rais na huyo rais sasa anahangaika huko nje so this is the message we want to tell our president mr president if you want a political battle we are ready for you tuko tayari na tunataka tukwambie rais kuwa rais wa Kenya Ndiye heshima ile kubwa sana katika nchi yoyote ile. There are 50 million Kenyans and all of them are qualified to lead the country. Wewe Mungu amekujalia, you are one of the four Kenyans who have led our country. We ask you to respect that office and that honor we have given you and we want to ask you kindly and very kindly, please keep off the next political campaigns because if you don't keep off we are going to embarrass you mr president sir kweli si kweli kweli si kweli sasa tunauliza hivi wakati wa kupiga kura mwezi wa nane tarehe tisa mutapigia kenya kwanza ama mutapigia kenya ngoja kenya kwanza ama kenya ngoja kenya kwanza ama kenya ngoja asanteni sana mungu wabariki sasa tuende kule Mount Kenya mheshimiwa Rigathe Gichu mnajua huyo jamaa mnataka kumsikia Kakamega Kakamega hoi Mlembe Hamjambo watu wa Kakamega Nimeleta salamu kutoka Mount Kenya mmepokea Mumepokea? Unajua ile siku ya mwisho watu ya magharibi na ya mlima Kenya tulipiga kura pamoja 
2002 tulipata ushindi. Mungetaka tupige kura pamoja wakati huu? Mungetaka tupige kura pamoja? Huyu William Ruto ndio candidate yetu pande ile ya mlima. Ameshikana na Msalia na Wetangula na nyinyi wote na sisi tunataka tusukume tupate 70 plus 1. Itawezekana? Na unajua hapa kwenu ndio hii mzee yetu yenu ya Nyororo. Alikuwa anasema ati Ruto hatafika 2022. Amefika ama hajafika? Alisema hatafika kwa debe, atafika ama hatafika? Atashinda ama hatashinda? Huyo mzee wenu muongeleshe yeye. Sio wenu? Sio wenu? Oh, nikupitia anapitia hapo makosa. Asanteni sana. Mimi ningetaka niseme hivi. If there is a Kenyan who is an authority on the folly of political projects is a man standing before you called the Regadi Kashawa. Because in the year 2002, President Moi retired, attached me to Uhuru Kenyatta to assist him as a political project. Na tukapata shida mingi. Turijaribu kutumia machief tukakwama. Tukatumia police tukakwama. Ikibaki mwezi tano madisi wakakataa kuchukua simu zetu. Ikibaki mwezi mbili machifu wakatoroka. Na mimi nashindwa. President Uhuru Kenyatta you know how humiliated we were. How embarrassed we were when Moi was trying to force you on the people of Kenya and it could not work. My president, my friend, exactly how do you intend to go about this political project called Raila Odinga? If it could not work 20 years ago, can it work now? Si wa Kenya wamerevuka zaidi? Hii maneno Rais Kenyatta tafadhali. Hao machief wanaambiwa na Matiangi wasaidie kitendawili. Tukiwa huko nyumbani hata wanatuambia wenyewe hawezi mpigia kura. Hao polisi hawa kwanza wanasema tukichukua serikali tuwasaidie tuwaondolee uniform ya blue walidasimishwa na Matiangi. Eh? Mungetaka tuwasaidie? Tusaidie polisi? Tuwatoe aibu hii ya uniform. Wangapi wanasema tuwasaidie? Mr. President. I I looked at the function yesterday. And I asked my friend, I felt sorry for you. Because the people around you are playing around with you. Wale vijana rais ulikuwa na hao jana. The same fellows ndio walikuwa sagana one. Hawa hawa ndio walikuwa sagana two. Hawa hawa ndio walikuwa BBI one. Hawa hawa ndio walikuwa BBI two. Hawa hawa ndio walikuwa azimio pale kasarani. Na hawa hawa ndio saa hii wanapangwa sagana three. Mr President for the last four years you have been talking to the same people. That is why you are having a problem. Rais ukitaka kujua kama hii project itafanya kazi. Ni kushauri kidogo hata kama mimi ni mtu mdogo. Na labda utanifarau. But since I used to advise you samani na unanisikiza, I hope you can listen to me. Ukitaka kujua kama hii project inaweza fanya kazi, hapana itiwa watu state house wamepewa pesa kwa hema. Kuja hapa maleba ulize hawa. Fanya mkutano pale Kerigiti Stadium uulize wananchi. Fanya mkutano pale kitale. Na ukifanya mkutano ine tano sita ambaye hainjapagwa kwa hema na watu wamepewa pesa. I am sure Mr. President you are bad on this project once and for all. Uachane na hii kitendawili tujaroshane na yeye. Wangapi wangetaka President akuje aulize nyinyi kwa raia wacha kuita watu kwa state house. Mungetaka akuje? Mungetaka akuje? Eh, amtaki? Mume marisana na hii maneno? Haya ya mwisho. Hii mtu ya kitendawili amesumbua sisi nyiku nyingi. Siku nyinyi siku nyingi. Sisi tuliwachana na yeye kwanza tulikosana na baba yake 1969. Tukawachana na baba yake Jaramogi. Tulijua ni mtu bure na aweza idia mtu yeyote. Nyinyi sasa mumejiunga na sisi mumefukuza yeye hapa. Sasa ametorokea kwetu. Pale akijaribu kupanda mlima siku moja anapumzika siku kumi. Siku ingine alikuja akapanda lori akaenda Dubai siku 
Saa hii amekuja juzi amepelekwa India. Sasa hii mzee akitenda wili sisi tunataka tufukuze kwa mlima turudishie nyinyi. Mtakubali eh? Hamtaki eh? Hamtaki eh? Kwa hivyo watu ya Kakamega tutaungana pamoja tubadilishe Kenya. Wangapi wanasema tuungane pamoja tubadilishe Kenya? Wangapi wanasema kitenda wili awezekani? Kitenda wili awezekani? Asante sana watu ya Kakamega. Mungu awabariki asanteni. Asante sana sasa kabla tuite vigogo wetu ningependa kutambua uwepo wa MCS wetu wa Western Region na Kakamega County wasimame tu wapunge hewa. MCS MCS asante sana. Ningependa pia kutambua women representatives wetu ambao wanatafuta kiti Mama Penina Mkabane, Mama Adija Nganyi, Mama Masi Luseno, Mama Evelyn Mwanzo na Mama Wose. Ningependa pia kutambua MCA wetu wa hapa town Mheshimiwa Job Ningependa pia kutambua MCA wa chini Mheshimiwa Musundi ambaye pia ako hapa. Sasa mwisho na Mheshimiwa Evans Aseneka. Asante sana. Haya tunyamaze vijana tunataka kuingia kwa serious session. Nataka tusikizane watu wangu wa Kakamega mumesikia vile viongozi wa kitaifa wameongea. Mumesikia ile mpango Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta ako nayo kuhakikisha kwamba ameiba kura yetu. Mumesikia hata juzi anasema anataka kugeuza kat, e, sheria. Ati hiyo sheria ati nyinyi watu wa Kakamega mkishapiga kura ati hiyo kura haitumwi na kompyuta. Ati hiyo kura OCPD na chief wanabeba wanapeleka Nairobi kuhesabu Nairobi. Mtakubali hiyo kweli? Na kuna jambo lingine. And Deputy President and Musalia Mdavadi nataka kutoboa siri moja hapa na najua nikitoka hapa mtatafuta mimi muende mshike mimi lakini mimi natoboa niseme nisiseme kuna watu ambaye pia nitataja majina wanapanga next week kufanya jambo mbili ndio ikosanishe Musalia na Ruto jambo la kwanza wanapanga kufanya wanapanga next week ati mtu aende kotini high court aende a file kesi ya kusema kwamba ati naibu wa rais hajakuwa akienda kwa ofisi miezi nane sasa ati aezi simama urais under chapter 6 wanataka kupeleka hiyo kesi high court alafu waseme ni Musali amepeleka ndio Ruto na Musali wakosane we want to tell you the deep state ya kwamba hiyo propaganda ambayo mnatumia na intelligence Ati muende mufile kesi nyinyi wenyewe ndio mkuje mkosanishe Musalia na Ruto sisi tumesema hakuna kitu itatenganisha Musalia Mudavadi na William Samoei Ruto Kesi ya pili ni seme nisiseme next week hapa Kisumu wamepanga kupitia wakili mmoja anaitwa John huyo wakili ati anaenda kuweka kesi ya treason ati waende washtaki Raila treason kwa nini aliapishwa ndio akuje kwenyu hapa aanze kufanya kitu inaitwa sympathy votes ati alie aseme ati mdavadi na Ruto ndio wamepeleka hiyo kesi huko ati wakichaguliwa watafunga huyo mzee mimi ningependa kuambia uru Kenyatta and your intelligence system ya kwamba kesi ya treason it is the republic against the person who has offended the republic wewe uru kenyata kabla uleta hiyo kesi ya sympathy ya raila utuambie wewe raila na uhuru kwa nini mulishtaki miguna miguna na mmemfukuza kule na raila nakula sup peke yake sasa hizo kesi mbili zimeletwa kuwatenganisha hizo kesi mbili ni za propaganda za kuwatenganisha mkiona hizo kesi mjue ni propaganda na mwisho Sabina Chege wewe mama Sabina Chege mimi nakuheshimu mama mrembo msupu sana 
lakini nilidhania akili yako iko kwa kichwa kumbe akili yako iko mahali pengine bwana wewe Sabina Chege ati unasema ati amwendi kutafuta kura mnaenda kuiba kura ningependa kuomba NCIC kwamba kama muko serious DCI kama muko serious sisi tukiongea kitu kidogo juu ya uhuru tunakamatwa lakini watu wa azimio la ukora wakiongea awakamatwi Sabina Chege ulisema kwamba wewe na uhuru mnapanga kuiba kura ati Raila akuwe president wa Republic of Kenya tungependa kuambia kwamba sisi vijana ambao tuko kwa Kenya kwanza mimi mheshimiwa Cheriot mheshimiwa Murko Men mheshimiwa Ndindi Nyoro mheshimiwa Cherargei Kimani Chungwa sisi vijana tunaenda kukomboa jeshi letu tutachunga kura ya hao majamaa paka tuingie state house wangapi wako tayari kuingia kwa jeshi letu nataka tufanye rehearsal nikisema hip hip mnasema ure hip 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 sasa we uru kenyata chungana na sisi sana bana usitupinge bangi si ndio sasa tukaribishe baba wa roma mheshimiwa moses masika wetangula Thank you, thank you. Ndogo zetu wakakameka mulembe. Mulembe randi. Mulivalamu. Musanga lile. Mimi ndio nina furaha zaidi. Kwa sababu mmejitokeza kwa wingi sana kuaibisha wale watu. Siku ya mwisho tulikuwa hapa Buhungu. Tukakutana na akina Atuoli na akina Raila wakisema mambo ya BBI. Tulipoingia na Msalia kila mtu akapata joto kwa tumbo. Wakababaika tukaongea tukamaliza mkawaacha mkaenda nyumbani. Leo tumekuja hapa Amalemba Historic Grounds na hata kama tukiwa na ugatuzi nimewaambia Kakamega is the indivisible capital of the Mlembe Nation. Na tukija hapa tunakuja kusugumuza mambo ambayo kila mtu anaelewa, anakubali, anatekeleza. Leo hii tumekuja hapa tukiwa watatu. Chama cha UDA cha Chief Hustler William Ruto. ANC Musalia Mdavadi na baba wa Roma na Ford Kenya Tunakuja kuwaomba ndugu zetu Tumecheza karata ya siasa kwa miaka mingi Tumesaidia jirani yetu mpaka akapata kiburi akaanza kutuambia yeye ni mluya kuliko sisi Leo tumerudi kwenu Kama ndugu zenu wakubwa kama baba zenu kama ndugu zenu tunataka kuwaomba hii safari tulio nayo sio safari ya kujitafutia ukubwa ni safari ya kubadilisha maisha yetu ni safari ya kuangalia mwananchi wa chini tutamuinua namna gani ni safari ya kuangalia inji yetu tutaibadilisha namna gani ni safari ya kutoa ubwenyenye na ukatili katika inji yetu ni safari ya kuondoa mamluki wa kisiasa kama kina Eugene wa Malo na Atoli katikati yetu ni safari ya kubadilisha mkondo ili mwananchi wa kawaida kama wewe uwe na uwezo wa kubadilisha maisha ya wakenya wengine na hiyo uwezo yenu iko kwa kura kwa hivyo tunakuja hapa leo kuambia 
Tumesunguka Kenya mzima na Kenya mzima imeshonwa. Kenya mzima iko locked ikiwa na Kenya kwanza. Tumekuwa kisi juzi iko hivyo. Tumekuwa upo bonde la uva iko hivyo. Tumekuwa kule northeastern pani watu wameamua. Na tunataka kuwaomba ndugu zetu wa mlembe na jamii zote zinazoishi western tukiwemo na ndugu zetu wa Teso na wa Sabaot kwamba hii safari hatutaki kuacha mtu yoyote nyuma lazima tutembee pamoja kwa hivyo tujitayarishe tarehe tisa mwezi wa nane. vijana mjitokeze mpike kura na mprotect kura ili ziziibiwe nataka kumshukuru sana Mwenye kitu wa IBC kwa kumuita ule mama mwenye aroboka maneno machafu hapa Shinyalu na Vihiga and we want to consider that chapter closed let the law take its course amueleze kile anajua na mumulize maswali mukishindwa kuframe maswali tutakuja kuwasaidia sisi kama ndugu zenu hapa western tunataka kutembea pamoja Tumesaidiana na jirani wetu. Sasa badala ya